No, that's whiskey, right? Yeah, you done with that one? Sure. Rough day. I guess so. In case you're worried, that was not Irish whiskey. No. So we're getting ready to try <laughs> slain Irish whiskey for the first time. I'm Jones. And I'm Dave. Let's get to it. Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it. Chug, 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 chug. All right, so happy hour today. We're trying Slain Irish Whiskey, and it's just arriving in stores and county market stores right now. If you don't see it in your liquor aisle, please request it at the customer service desk. Um, this Irish Whiskey is, is pretty new to the Jack Daniels yeah. family, right? Right. Uh, Brown Foreman, the people that brought us the Statesman Old Forester Whiskey, mm -hmm. is uh, happy to give us this bottle to try. Mm -hmm. 2015 is when they started. And so this whiskey has been made for a long time in Ireland. Right. And it's got a long story behind it. Uh, made in the Boyne Valley, I believe. Uh, B-O-Y-N-E in yep. Ireland. Uh, we will save you from us doing our Irish, yeah. Scottish, or English accents. Maybe after this bottle. <laughs> we'll just crack her open. <laughs> and so again, we'll be drinking it neat first, but then after this, we'll give you guys some ideas on how to use Irish whiskey. Looks like iced tea. <laughs> Same color. All right, it smells sweet. It is. Now, Irish whiskey is a lot smoother than bourbons or uh, other whiskeys because it is uh, triple distilled. Tri mm -hmm. So it's got a little bit more, well, it tastes a little bit more fruit, fruit flavor on the right. first taste. Yeah. Than what we have with the first statesman. Definitely a lot smoother. It's real spicy at first. And then you get um butterscotch and Yeah, even a little like a caramel flavor or something mm -hmm. like that. So it's pretty sweet on the back end. Really nice. Now this slain Irish whiskey is actually triple cast. It says right on the front. First they start uh, stored in virgin oak, then it goes into a seasoned oak, and lastly it's in a, a sherry wood. Hmm. So that's why you get the uh, different flavors and the smoothness. So it should be complex when right. you down it, that's for sure. Just like us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, so we know a lot of people don't drink it neat, and so we're giving you two options to drink the new Slain Irish Whiskey with, and that's first, Irish coffee. Yep. You ever had Irish coffee before? I have not. So it's, it's a coffee, six ounces of coffee. Mm -hmm. You make some sugar in there, then you put the whiskey, about an ounce and a half of Irish whiskey, and then you put some whipped cream on top, so. I've had variations of it, but never it sounds good. And I'm using our bald and beautiful cup. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> so not the kick I was expecting. That'll warm you up. So it doesn't taste a lot of uh, Irish whiskey in there, but no. it does have a nice spice mm -hmm. to it's the It's real end. nice. Nice and smooth. So first you get the coffee, then you kind of get the sweetness in between, and then finally after you swallow you get a it, little spice. you kind of get a little whiskey, but yeah. it's not a lot. No. It's a good mixture. I'm a fan. I guess I'll be drinking this tomorrow morning. <laughs> so if you're looking for something in the cold winter months, this is a good choice. That will warm you up. One ounce of whiskey or one ounce of cider. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever one you want. The answer is yes. <laughs> All right, next up with the Irish theme, we have an Irish cider. And so this is five ounces of apple cider and one ounce of the Irish whiskey. Right. Again, a fall treat. This I've had. So again, not a lot of bite at the first of it. Nice like balance of uh, the sweetness and mm -hmm. spice from the whiskey. Man, I'm warm. <laughs> it's starting to sweat a little bit. <sighs> so it's got a really good flavor because the apple and the Irish whiskey really blend together. Hot salad. I think hot cider would even be good. Yeah, that's true. Put it with the Irish hot coffee and the yeah. hot apple cider. So a little stuff. bit of apple whipped cream on it. Wow. So if you're a little scared of trying Irish whiskey for the first time, you're afraid of the bite, I'd say don't be. Right. Um, the stuff that we tried today with with the Slain Irish whiskey is really good. There's not a whole lot of burn to it. With if you mix it with the coffee or you mix it with the apple cider, that's a that's a good choice. And when you first try a whiskey or a bourbon or a scotch, uh, try them neat because then you get the nuances of all the flavors and um, you compare them easily. Mm -hmm. And then uh, go ahead and mix them. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to mix it up. That's all we're about is giving you guys this choice, whatever you want to do, whether you like it neat, you like it on the rocks, or you like it mixed into drinks. We're trying to give you guys examples of what you can do in a variety of different ways. And uh, if you have any ideas, give us some recipes. Let us know what you use your Irish whiskey for and yeah. your scotch. We'd love to try. So thanks, thanks everybody. 
Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it. 